Hello guys and welcome to this uh, kind of a typical video and uh, I'm uh, just making a new character here this is uh, my super strength build uh, all melee and nothing else and it's kind of a cosplay of Guts from Berserk and uh, these are his stats and uh, I'm just making him and uh, I reached the, just reached the Shrine of Amana and uh, since uh, lots of people have problem with this place I thought about making a video of uh, trying to beat this place in melee only, no shield uh, no ranged attack whatsoever with just my great sword this is... Uh, wait this is my Kimena great sword plus 10 these are my rings and uh, my armor, nothing too fancy you know everything kind of normal, I already came in here but I had the idea of uh, just you know helping people in uh, maybe you know watching uh, someone clearing this place uh, could help someone to you know have a, <laughs> have a little bit uh, better time because this isn't uh, an easy area one of the hardest here in Dark Souls 2 and uh, I, I know I was <laughs> I hated this place the first time this is hell Alright, now, first thing you want to do is, you see that uh, Archdrake uh, Cleric uh, right there is the first guy we're going to kill if he doesn't kill us. Alright, there we go. One, two, dead. That really didn't go <laughs> as well as I wanted to, but it did go. Now, these guys, you could avoid killing them when they have these uh, yellow uh, bugs. Uh, over them but you know why not and uh, I really advise you guys to learn how to do the jumping attack because it is super effective in this place because you don't need to approach them too closely so you can just uh, not ju see if you approach them uh, they will do that instead uh, if you can just uh, do your normal jumping attack they won't care now if you go around the back here, there's this guy There's this thing to break And there's a chest which I already took Nothing too important, remember to enter this place to talk to the Milfalito Right here Always talk to the Milfalito And there we go, the super easy part is almost over Just have to kill this guy and then the super easy part is over now, let's go for uh, the first obstacle, which is these three clerics. Now, if you st start running towards them, they will all come and beat you to death. So, you approach slowly, and you see, just one comes, and you go back, because you don't want to aggro the other ones, and... Ouch! Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> that works, <laughs> kind of. Then keep approaching slowly, 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 until you see one of them coming towards you. Still approaching slowly, slowly, slowly. Here he comes. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Wait for him and kill him. That's right. Ah. All right. You can avoid killing all these guys. That doesn't really matter. They won't attack you unless you provoke them. While the Milfanito is sing are singing, uh, these guys uh, they're not a problem. Just uh, remember this one. You should kill. And. Uh, you know, to get the chest. I'm not going to show you guys everything. Uh, because, honestly, I don't think I ever got everything in this place. But, still. Now. Kill this guy first. Alright. And then, you have these guys right here. Now, you can kill this guy pretty easily with a swiping attack like this 
or if you have magic uh, you could use that anyway you'll find something cool in here and there's I think twinkling titanite and then let's keep going now get in uh, uh, you can really get lost in the Shrine of Amana, it's pretty straightforward. Look at me, I'm a young guts, I guess. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is your most important bonfire. And uh, I guess the witch will start shooting. There it is. Oh, motherfuck. Anyway. Reach the bonfire. Use the bonfire. Love the bonfire. Alright. First thing, clear. And let's keep going. Now, the secret is, well, apart from killing this guy, which is easy. Now, run towards her. And whoop, and whoop, and kill. And whoop, alright. Now, let me just kill this this thing and then we'll keep uh, I'll tell you what to do all right now the trick in avoiding those uh, magical bullets is to just you know run towards them when they're close enough roll to the side not totally toward the side you know kind of diagonal like, just you know like that yeah, that's it obviously it helps if you have a uh, kind of a uh, nice agility I have 105 which should give me I guess 13 iframes I think and uh, obviously that helps uh, you can even just run towards them and then just roll straight through them if you have enough agility I don't know I don't trust that too much you know sometimes it works for me sometimes it doesn't uh, mostly because I'm probably not good enough to do that yet so you know but anyway you just remember to wait until they're close even if you stay like there wait until they're close and then you can just sidestep it if you stay in one place you just sidestep and then go now we have a witch right there which doesn't know where we are yet that's the witch and then we have a witch uh, behind there, which start which start to shoot us. Uh, uh, where is she? Uh, ah, here, here she is. You can see her right there, just under my stamina bar. All right. So we will start by killing this. Uh, I don't think so. All right. And now, see, she start shooting. Now, stay right there. And uh, woo, you can just stay step. See. You don't need to do anything too fancy to avoid these things. It's not that hard. Just, you know, keep in mind. And there you go. Use the columns to your advantage. Because uh, the columns are uh, your best friend. And now this is the first really tricky part. Because if you get too close the ogre right there will start aggroing you and uh, there is uh, uh, yeah well not really <laughs> not really a great place to use the binocular okay uh, well there is the witch right there and one of those underwater kind of beasts that attacks you uh, right there so now to deal with them is not really that hard but you need to keep in mind that if you go uh, too, too far uh, that ogre will start aggroing you so keep it in mind because you know just alright it's not aggroing us perfect ah I hate you alright it's not aggroing us perfect because the if you step too much you see if I just went here, it will start aggroing us, and we don't want that. He won't come here. Uh, hopefully. Anyway, not not in the house. And yeah, it's going back now. Uh, if you want, you can fight him, and then you know where you see those columns 
all the way there. Right there, there's a Estus flash shard. I already got it, so I'm not going to go there. Anyway, you'll find two sorceresses there, and uh, th what you want to do is kill the far one first, and then the, uh, the closest one. Because the closest one is uh, really close to, to a ledge, and uh, you should really keep in mind that attacking error will maybe cause you to fall down too. So, keep that in mind. Now, open this thing, and now this is the second part which is the hardest part in the shrine uh, now there is an archdrake cleric right there now just go out here, he'll come lure him in here pretty easy and destroy him now wait just wait stay here and wait alright perfect she stopped casting once you stop casting, you can start running. Run here. There's a little thing here. Oh, you got me, huh? Alright, well. And hide in here. See? The other one can get you. Heal, if you need to, like I, like me. And uh, actually, it pays to have full health in this place, it really pays pick up the items and now it starts now this one is easy but you'll see alright now we have that one which starts shooting at us and then we have another one right there where my health bar is right there, alright so we'll start with that one because it shouldn't aggro the the archdrex and strangely she's not oh no she is mother frack ok now let's go back, alright the archdrex aren't aren't killing us yet so now this is just my choice because I got hurt in that thing so my choice is to go back a little bit and uh, to heal right ouch right here you know it doesn't really matter where you go to to heal bust just you know stay in a close space now we got one we still have two witches to kill and the problem is now that uh, the first witch we approach her and we kill her and that's fine but then uh, two archdrakes will start swarming us and they are not really gentle let's just say ah right this guy yeah you can get me here uh. also keep in mind that uh, the shrine of amana is all water as you can see so you should always check your feet. See that? I can't run straight towards her because there's that ledge. If I would go there, I would die. A painful, painful death. Alright. So we'll do this. I don't think so. And we're in this place again where we kill the other one. And now, obviously. Obviously, if you know this place, you should bring a bow, but this is kind of a challenge for me, so... And here they come. One... And two. There you go. See? Pretty easy pretty easy and then just kill the the last one obviously this is the normal game and in the normal game uh, you know you have just two arch drakes to deal with in uh, new game plus we have four and that's a whole other story 
uh, you should uh, well technically the science I'm doing kind of a cosplay here I'm using the great sword because guts use well you know what guts use <laughs> and uh, obviously it's uh, well technically I could have a crossbow with me but apart from that and uh, when you have four archdrakes uh, clerics they want to kill you and eh, that's a little bit that's a little bit worse still you can make it all right another bonfire learn to love it there we go and oh still alive Rocker. All right, now that's annoying as hell. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but still, uh, you can. What are you doing? You can make it if your time your at your uh, attack straight. All right, now. You could wait until that guy comes. Yeah, 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 come on. Come closer. Come closer, there you are. There. Okay. And... Oh, motherfuck! My dragon ring! My poor dragon ring, you destroyed it. Oh well. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Now, this part is annoying because we get uh, a freaking NPC who invades us and also. Alright, now. Ouch. Alright, that did that go pretty well, I guess. I don't think so. Okay. Whew. First part clear. We're going to get the the blingy stuff after. Now we should kill that one before we get invaded, so let's see. Why are we not getting invaded? That's strange. Ah, there you are. Kindle hour. Now, what I like to do is hide here. And you so what? And then just bang on him. I don't think so. Ooh. You see the columns? Columns are your friends. Use the columns. Use the columns. Should always use your environment to your advantage. This is not just in this place, but in every place. In Dark Souls, if you can take advantage of something, do it. Unless it's the monastery shimitar, in which case. Well, in PvE, yeah, sure. But. In PvP, please don't. All right, and then we get all the blinky stuff, and I guess uh, this is kind of it. Uh, this is the shrine of a mana full melee in uh, no ranged attack with a great sword plus ten. Obviously, great sword is kind of a nice weapon for this place because it has good range. The trick here is uh, keep. Uh, um, you should be aware of your surroundings always, especially of the ledges, as you can see. I don't want to fall down there because I will die pretty badly. And there we go. The important stuff is done, so we can keep going. 
and uh, you can see where these guys are from the the yellow bugs over there I guess they are kind of fireflies and then we get everything alright obviously uh, there is a bunch of stuff you can get also there is a witch right there which I I don't understand but anyway it's always been like that the milfanito here and the demon of song yeah let's do the boss fight too why not I like to stay on his sides because he can't get you on his sides. Alright, this doesn't do the other. Ah! This is a pretty easy boss, one of the easiest, I guess. So, you know, don't panic, it's pretty easy. You really uh, want to piss me off, huh, don't you? Ah, he's doing that. Alright. Okay. Wakey, wakey. And there we go. Shrine of a mana. Gatsu style. And we did it. Alright. There are no more enemies, I, I guess, now, so. Yeah, this is. I'm going the wrong way. What the fuck? My god. Jesus. Am I stupid or what? Ah. Ooh. Nice loading there. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And we reach the other bonfire. Which is right there. Always check. You know? Always check where you're going to put your feet. Because look at that. <laughs> That's that. You die if you go there. So yeah. Bonfire lit. Bonfire. And that's it guys, the Shrine of Amana, melee only, no magic, nothing, no deaths. And uh, I don't know if this will be helpful to, you know, some new players or something. Um, you know, the most good strategies of doing this place would be the Rebel Grey Shield, which I don't think I even have. Uh, no, I didn't even get it. Anyway, the Rebel Grey Shield does like 90%. Magic the reduction, so you know, just use it, block, and you know, go like this, <laughs> and you're fine. And uh, another thing would be just use a bow to snipe them from afar. And uh, I guess uh, this is the kind of hardest one, but if you know the layout of the place, shouldn't have uh, too many problems. I hope this is helpful for I don't know some. Someone who's approaching the Shrine of Amana for the first time and just can't do it, like, he's <laughs> imprecating and, oh my god, he's destroying everything in his house, to change three controllers or something, because that's basically what I did the first time. So, anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of something else, and we'll see. Alright, goodbye, guys. Hope this was helpful.